by inviting in Ambassador James Woolsey. Ambassador Woolsey served as the director of Central Intelligence. He now serves as the chairman for the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Jim, we thank you for your time this morning here on America's Forum. Uh, one thing about Thanks, ISIS, Good to be with you. it is great to have you, sir, and ISIS is a new kind of enemy, at least in terms of using social media and following the news closely. To wit, $200 million as ransom for the hostages, that's the pledge the Japanese made to, to combat ISIS. Uh, is ISIS an enemy that stays a step ahead in terms of social media? and the way to uh, apply pressure and affect terror against the free world? Well, a number of the terrorist groups, including uh, ISIS, are uh, getting more and more savvy, unfortunately, about the uh, social media. Uh, but that's uh, the way they communicate. The principle uh, here, or communicate with much of the outside world anyway, the principle here uh, is that we just should not, uh, under any circumstances, uh, pay uh, ransom to hostage to get hostages freed um once you start doing that there's no end uh it will keep getting worse and worse and worse and it's uh, uh terrible for the japanese uh, correspondents and for their uh, families uh but one uh, simply has to draw a line at this and uh, say no ransom no dealing with terrorists uh, on any on anything, on any circumstances, no bargaining. Well, Jim, uh, do you believe the Japanese and the free world will maintain that solidarity? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's it's hard to say. Uh, uh, the Japanese, have, uh, apparently, from your leading here, uh, said they're going to work hard with other countries, but they are not going to pay that. And... Uh, you don't want to get into a business, I think, of haggling over amounts. Uh, but if they're, uh, you know, going to uh, do what they can to get other countries uh, to that are near ISIS uh, in Syria and Iraq and to say something to them, who knows what they have in mind. But if they don't pay ransom, uh, probably the journalists will get killed. Uh, it's terrible. It's a real shame. But that is uh, a better path than going down the path of uh, uh, paying ransom uh, and repaying it and repaying it and repaying it and repaying it. Jim, uh, two minutes remain in this particular segment. Israel is reported to have killed an Iranian general, a general who was working with Hezbollah in Syria. We understand the Israelis are now bracing for a response. How does this action further complicate matters in the Middle East? Well, uh, Israel, uh, I think, uh, should, uh, under no circumstances, uh, hold back uh, from its uh, attacks on those who are uh, trying to uh, destroy it and uh, uh, kill uh, Israelis. And that certainly uh, fits uh, this uh, particular gentleman. Uh, I don't recall whether this was a, uh, a standoff a missile of some sort uh, uh, that uh, uh, killed him and other people or whether he was, uh, was specifically focused on uh, on him alone but uh, 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 Israel's at war and uh, they recognize it and I think are behaving properly under the circumstances 30 seconds remain in this segment Jim what are you hearing about Yemen is there in fact a coup taking place there it is uh, just about the most uh, unstable uh, place in that highly uh, unstable uh, part of the world. And uh, uh, you could well end up uh, with uh, with the uh, radical uh, Shiites uh, 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 completely uh, in control, rather than just partially in control. And uh, uh, that would be a very bad outcome, but uh, so far it doesn't look like there's much being done to stop it. Jim Woolsey, you've graciously consented to stay with us through the break. When we come back, we will talk more about these troubling headlines from overseas and the implications for our own nation. More with Ambassador Woolsey right after this timeout as America's Forum continues here on Newsmax TV. See a stronger stand? Let's continue our conversation with Ambassador James Woolsey also a former director of Central Intelligence. Jim, we do appreciate your time. Thanks for staying with us here on America's Forum. Sure, good to be with you. 
Jim, what would you like to hear the president say tonight? Well, I would uh, like uh, to hear him in some fashion under, begin to understand that you're not going to succeed with dealing with terrorists uh, if you uh, treat them like trout, uh, catch and release. Uh, which is kind of what we've been doing. And we don't even interrogate anymore. Uh, uh, it's certainly arguable that one should not waterboard, although these are two sides to that question. But for even plain, regular old conversational interrogation, uh, we're really uh, not. Jim, the president's uh, yeah. lexicon has, uh, has, uh, has uh, been missing in action the term Islamic terror. Will will this administration ever deal in calling this what it is? I don't know. It's really hard. Political correctness has crept into important parts of the media as well as the, the, the White House. Uh, it's uh, it's really kind of crazy. They when uh, uh, Major Hassan uh, killed those thirteen uh, fellow soldiers down at Fort Bliss a couple of years or so ago. Uh, they never would say anything about jihad or Islamists. I mean, he had business cards which said that he was an Islamist uh, on jihad. Uh, it, it's uh, really uh, kind of uh, uh, amazing uh, how uh, uh, scared of telling the truth uh, so much of our media and uh, the White House uh, uh, seem to have, uh, have come to, to adopt this position. Yep, so the Fort Hood attacks were called workplace violence. One shudders to think what they might call engagements overseas uh, in the days to come. Uh, I am, I am yeah, curious. I, uh, Go ahead, that, that's, that's like saying that the person who burns those poor women as witches in, uh, in Salem uh, were engaged in fireplace violence. Uh, hmm. uh, I mean, it's just stupid. Well, it's really stupid. The, the, the euphemisms... Uh, seem to undergird a strategy. Uh, you, you take a look at um, uh, an indulgent stance with Iran, re-engagement with Cuba, and the lack of the president's presence in the aftermath of the attacks in Paris uh, where other world leaders gathered. Uh, are we just confronted by the very sobering notion that our commander-in-chief is sending the wrong message to those who mean to do us harm? I think that's about the kindest way you could put it. Uh, I, I think we are definitely sending, he is definitely sending a, a, the wrong message. Uh, and it's not a message of, uh, of uh, firmness. Uh, uh, when you say you're going to draw a red line if the Syrians uh, use the chemical weapons against their own people, and then they, they use chemical weapons against their own people, and you sort of say, whoops, well, maybe the Russians will deal with this or something. Uh, that makes the United States virtually a laughing stock, and we've been doing that. Uh, he's been doing that in a number of different ways and circumstances over the course of the last uh, couple of three years. Final uh, topic to address, Jim, with about a minute left: cybersecurity, where uh, our NSA reportedly had been monitoring what North Korea was up to in cyberspace for a number of years. Uh, Will we see cyber terror in the days to come? Uh, I think yes, we will. I'm glad NSA has been monitoring the North Koreans. I'm sorry somebody talked to the press about it because I would hope they would continue to monitor the North Koreans effectively. Uh, yeah, we uh, we could see definitely see uh, cyber uh, terrorism and something that's called cyber by the Russians and the Chinese and the Iranians and North Koreans is electromagnetic uh, pulse, uh, which uh, is uh, something that can be created by a, uh, a satellite, a nuclear weapon on a satellite in orbit, and take out, if it's over the United States, uh, the electric uh, grid of the United States. Uh, some Americans call that cyber, uh, but the Ru Russians and Chinese and Iranians, uh, North Koreans definitely would go to the, the cyber arsenal. So uh, I think um, we've got some serious problems. And, and on that note, Jim Woolsey, you have our thanks. America's Forum is coming right back.